Hi Aquarius, here's a general look at your solar chart for June 2009 and I think this month you are going to begin to feel uh, an inner calmness coming in and a, and a rootedness in your um, self, in your heart energy and, and uh, also uh, more appreciation uh, circulating, so uh, a reciprocity between you and members of your group. It could be members of your family, it could be people you know in an organization that you're affiliated to, it could be your spiritual tribe. Uh, it could literally be the neighborhood, the locality that you're in. Any or all of these areas could be affected by uh, um, this, these uh, vibrations coming from um, the planets for you over the month of June. Uh, particularly from the end of the first week of June, uh, around about the 6th and the 7th there, there's a heavy, heavier energy where you might have to sort of, uh, um, it's just a slower going, harder working energy there. Um, and 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 so you've got to you've got to push harder there for things and and results seem slow in coming. But apart from that, um, I think there's going to be this renewed sense of closeness coming in, um, and uh, feelings of, of of for some of you a healing of the heart. You know, a, a laying to rest of the feuds that there may have been or the differences of opinion. Anyway, at least from the end of the first week you can go a long way towards that um, and also for some of you an awareness of roots a kind of a harking back a nostalgic look back uh, anything to do with where you're anchored you know where you live inside where you're coming from this is this is very much um, uh, the focus of the energies this month but also people in your life uh, could be family members as I say uh, and uh, places in your life who mean something things in your life uh, that mean something to you either now you know uh, and uh, perhaps uh, in in the future as well because there is this sense of huge potential that you may have you know in in your mind and in your heart this month too or from the past so this a kind of sentimental uh, looking back coming in for some of you but things don't look maudlin things don't look melancholy it looks quite active it looks kind of playful uh, as uh, around about in and around the home base or wherever you're based you know in your community activities and interactions um, like you to have a strong focus you know um, interactions so exchange of ideas playing around with uh, creative ideas and so you could um, some of you could be DIY, DIYing at home making home improvements some of you could be decluttering um, not just at home but you know decluttering emotional baggage I guess as well so putting your house in order to a certain degree and uh, it could be that some of you are getting really, you know, passionate and hot under the collar with your community um, connections, your social connections. That's, you know, as I say, your tribal, there's a tribal feel this month. Can be with family members, of course, and there could be some heated exchanges there. Um, but uh, you're very much on to things, you know, within your, uh, within your clan and uh, physically and mentally this month so a renewed feeling of emotional balance coming in as I say from the end of the first week I would say the eighth into the most private areas of your life so you should be in a lighter mood a more expansive mood a playful mood especially after mid-month that is that increases from there and many of you will have a romantic encounter I would say if you're in the market for, for that or at least you'll have a feeling of being appreciated, Aquarius, uh, more by others. Um, yes, there's going to be some that think that you're away with the fairies, um, but there always is those. And uh, having said that, though, you're going to have to check out with yourself where you are at with things and how realistic and how doable things are. There's probably going to be more support however for your aspirations this month but as I say I would be looking for that kind of thing more from after mid-month 
So it's an expansive month, it's an opportunistic month, particularly for those Aquarians born around about mid-February. So it's an idealistic period for you guys, a time when you feel full of hopes and dreams for the future. Um, uh, you 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 may feel uplifted by you know uh, certain um, ideas and ideals that you have, and there's this sense of promise in the air. So a real sense of anticipation. Now imagination could be working over time this month. Great for creative projects. Excellent for humanitarian work, healing type work, um, mending the rifts between people. Uh, uh, and um, definitely liaising with others for a common goal. Now, unfortunately, as I say, others may see you as too pie in the sky and be working against you. You know, you're just too wishful in your thinking. You're not being realistic. And so you're just going to have to work a little bit harder this month uh, to match your ideological aspirations with the stark reality and the parameters that you've got to work within at the moment, Aquarius. What uh, reigns you in, what will reign you in, is that you're having trouble with other people's value system, I think. Uh, this has been ongoing for a while now. Um, others' priorities, uh, which you don't agree with, and you, there's just this clash that's going on. And also, there could be issues around joint resources, money, property, what it, um, whatever you're relying on in that area, or rather, what they're relying on in that area. So, you've got to try and meet each other halfway in some way or another. And uh, so distribution of resources uh, will be on your mind. Uh, these are shared resources. Uh, and what is due to you and what is owed by you. And this might not just be, you know, material things. This might be on a moral kind of a level too. These kinds of things will be very much in many of your, your um, awarenesses. Um, not just now. This has been uh, around for a while. But this is a very creative, entrepreneurial month. And so um, as long as you keep your feet on the ground um, and you keep your integrity, of course, intact, uh, I think even though you're going to get resistance from people, you know, uh, the status quo, uh, because you're a very reformist sign, you're a sign for change, um, I think that uh, you should stand your ground as long as you have checked it out um, and you're going with partly with the gut but also partly with the head and you can back up your um, convictions and, uh, and um, you know, they, they will stand the tests, then you should be fine. <laughs> so from the last week you should, um, that's to say um, from the 21st, yeah, that, that'll be a time when you get more practical, you start knuckling down to things that uh, are more productive, maintenance orientated time of the month. And um, that will be a time when you begin to see more clearly whether you are really biting off more than you can chew. Well, that's it for June, Aquarius. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.